What's up, everybody? My name is Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'll be your foreign host today for the Morning English podcast. 大家好，我是卡拉，欢迎收听今天的早安英文。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。啊，不知道大家有没有听说啊？就是前不久呢，有一名企业员工因为在微信群里面用 OK 的这个 emoji 回复了老板，然后就被开除了。Peter, did you know about this? Yeah, well, I read an article about it. An employee was actually fired for sending an OK emoji to her boss, right? 对，而且呢，之后这个。Boss, 还要求所有的员工要 use the word Roger when、yeah. up, when replying to messages. Wow.、Uh, well, yeah, that made me realize、uh, I don't really think that would happen in America. It's kind of okay to text with emojis. 对，不过当然了 ，most Weibo users took the side of the employee.、Mm -hmm. We also think this is an Arbitrary reason to fire an employee. Yeah, it's pretty、uh, random. 对，但是呢，这就让我们想到了今天要大要和大家聊的这个话题。Well, so as you know, there are a lot of cultural differences between America and China. And to be more specific, today we're going to talk about some of those cultural differences about the workplace. So let's talk about some of those differences today. 嗯，那今天呢就要和大家聊聊这个中美职场上的文化差异。嗯 ，I believe it could be quite useful for our listeners. So, in organizational behavior, which is a field of study about the workplace and corporate culture, there's a theory called power distance. You sound like a pro. <laughs>、uh, well, I did good. I'm getting my MBA, so I should know about these things. 超专业的有没有啊？首先呢，这个词叫做 organizational behavior. behavior. Yes. Okay. 组织行为学当中啊，就是有这么一个概念呢，叫做 power distance， 叫做权力距离。嗯哼。In China, there is a large power distance in the workplace. In America, there is a small power distance in the workplace. So what this means is that people are more equal if there's a small power distance. For example, in America, just like a normal, average, low-level employee can approach a CEO and talk to him or her. In China, I don't think that this would ever be able to happen. So this is called power distance. In China, in Employees of a company, you know, honor the hierarchy of、um, top to bottom. 嗯，就什么意思呢？权力距离的大小啊，它就是意味着更加专制独裁，还是更加民主，或者说，嗯，就是在就是下属啊，在他的权力范围之内呢，也能有相应的自主权。这样讲应该大家就能明白了哈。那么 ，generally speaking， 中国的这个权力距离相对美国来说是会大一点儿。Yeah, differences in American and Chinese business customs are largely influenced by differences in American and Chinese mentalities, like the way that we think and perceive things.、Mm -hmm. Americans place a great deal of emphasis on the self and personal identity, while the Chinese focus more on a collective national identity. So the Chinese are much more humble rather than Americans, which like to pride themselves on their own achievements. 嗯，所以呢，其实这个结果的造成呢，更多是因为我们这个 mentality 是吧？就是我们心里面想事情的这个方式。Mm. 那美国呢，它就是会更加注意个人主义，然后呢，我们就是会更加注意这个集体主义。所以相对来讲，我们就会更加的，呃、怎么说，更加谦虚，更加迎合集体。但是呢，他们就会更加啊、呃、注重个人取得一些成就。而且呢，我觉得还有一个原因就是。Americans are very fond of being direct in communication.、Mm -hmm. 就是在交流时候会更加直接一些。Uh, this won't work well in Chinese business culture, where indirect communication is the norm. Yes, as、mm. I have found、uh, from firsthand experience,、um, bluntness, persuasion, aggression are often used in American business culture to pursue an advantage in negotiations. But talking to other employees and colleagues directly and more upfront is、uh, definitely an American thing. 嗯，哦，刚刚提到两个词啊，一个是这个 bluntness，、mm -hmm. 一个是 upfront，、mm -hmm. 他们都是其实差不多的意思，就直率的，然后直言不讳的。Yeah, so for example,、uh, using the word blunt, it's an adjective, so we would say, 
She is quite blunt about her personal life. Oh,、uh, 就是他对于他自己的私事啊，就非常的直言不讳。但是呢，在中国啊 ，it may be more normal to beat around the bush. 嗯，就是会，对，就会更加呃不那么直接，会相对拐弯抹角、旁敲侧击一些啊。然后 maybe subtly suggest things rather than directly saying them. But I think this is more common in big companies. 嗯，对。So for example, maybe in America, I would say to my colleague. Hey, could you please refill the coffee pot when you drink the last of it? But maybe in China, I probably wouldn't say anything at all, or I might just refill the coffee pot myself without saying anything. So this is kind of like a way to honor my colleagues and workmates to avoid any chance of argument or disagreement. 对，就是我们相对呢，就是会。避免一切有可能会吵架的那种那种可能性啊， mm. 但是呢，可能就会在心里面默默的 hold a grudge， 嗯、mm. <笑>，记下这一笔仇，然后 bitch about the person behind his back。嗯 ，That's a good one. Exactly. <笑>开玩笑。<笑><笑> so in China, you know, people ask a lot about personal questions, while in America, it's encouraged to keep the personal life out of the workplace and avoid crossing these kind of boundaries.、Mm. In China, it's kind of expected that your personal and professional lives will overlap. 嗯，还有一个呢，就是关于个人私事。通常呢，其实同事啊，我们就会觉得说，慢慢就变成朋友了嘛，所以也会聊一些这个私事。但是呢，他们就会比较避免这一点。Lastly, while Americans can be prone to arguing and seeing it as a normal part of trade practices， 嗯，你说这个 prone 是什么意思？呃、uh, ，likely， like likely to argue。啊、uh, ，所以就是 be prone to 就是 tend to， 嗯哼，啊，就是有做什么什么事情的倾向，有这一这么一个倾向。However, a Chinese professional may say, uh, may not say anything to your face to avoid disagreeing with you to prevent friction. So this goes back to the idea of collectivism and the Chinese being a harmonious culture. In America, sometimes it's almost necessary to disagree with someone. Because it makes it seem like you're an independent, free thinker that is not afraid to say what's on your mind. Americans think that if you agree with everything that someone else says, it kind of says that you are not a free thinker and you are afraid to say how you really feel. 嗯，这个我觉得其实和之前呢有一点点不谋而合啊。就是呢，我们会更加注意这个团体的融洽性，所以呢，不管讲什么自己的意见啊，也是会比较 in a more softer way。但是呢，就他们就是会觉得说，有的时候啊，冲突是一个好的事情，是一个必然的事情，因为这样子呢，代表你有独立的人格，有独立思考的能力。嗯、mm.。Very well said. Very、okay. well interpreted. <laughs> 谢谢你。好，那我们今天的节目呢，差不多就和大家聊到这里了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the、uh, English Morning English podcast. I'm Peter Joseph Kuhn, and I'll see you guys next time. 嗯，我是卡拉，我们下次再见，拜拜，拜拜。